Cool. So let's get started about Deutschland stipendium. So first thing first, Deutschland stipendium. It means basically Deutschland plus stipendium. So Deutschland means Germany, and stipendium means stipend. So if you know about the stipend, stipend means kind of scholarship or money which is basically uh, is given for you or to you for your study and for your livelihood so Deutschland stipendium is basically one uh, one of the most uh, popular scholarships in the whole Germany for international students because kind of it's 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 very known for students who are basically coming to Germany for their higher study so who are like who are the authorities or who is responsible for this scholarship, right? So number one, uh, the companies, the business companies, and uh, like lots of other institutes. These are the private ones. They basically give some money. And number two, the federal government of Germany. They also like is giving some kind of money. So both these two, the private and the public ones, they are both equally. Uh, equal investing some money for the students to help their study so that is uh, that is the source of money from where basically the money is coming and you are getting this money okay so like what is the amount they are giving so from the private companies they are giving 150 euro per month and like for I mean if you're selected and for the federal government of Germany they are giving 150 euro Per month that means equally you we, you will have like 300 euros per month and the duration of your scholarship will be two semesters that means for 12 months that means you will be getting if you are selected for this scholarship you will be getting kind of uh, like 300 euros per month and the duration of the scholarship will be 12 months so yeah it's, 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 it's a really good scholarship because like the number of seats is very high it means like it will basically decrease your competition but more or less the competition is really high for the scholarships I, I would say but thing is if you are thinking that uh, like for the TUM or the scholarship uh, or the other universities like you will have kind of like 800 to like 1000 seats per universities for this scholarship so yeah it's it's the seats are not that much less it's very high so in that sense the competition is basically it's uh, quite low okay but but the thing is it's a worldwide competition because like lots of uh, international students are basically applying for this scholarship it, it, it can be like Asia and it can be African it can be other countries as well so the competition is really high in that sense as well okay so now like what is the application procedure and like who will be giving you the scholarship so the the amount is coming from the private company and federal government but the scholarship will be basically granted by your university so if your university is not applicable for this Deutschland stipendium funding uh, it might be possible because like most of the public universities are basically uh, contained or basically containing this scholarship but some private universities might not have this funding for uh, their uh, for their authority or it's not available by their authority so what you have to do you have to ask your university that is it uh, like are these uh, scholarships or is this Deutschland stipendium is available for your university or not so you have to ask them okay so there might be other things uh, that you will be provided so I might include it like as I was explaining the money factor so like like except this money factor there is there can be another thing like for doom i don't know about other uh, university it, it might be it might be different from like here to there it means it, it basically depends on the university but money is fixed it means 300 euros for like all all the universities who are basically including themselves that uh, for this uh, scholarship funding process so like so other thing what i was trying to say that it might be possible there are other programs as well if you are getting this scholarship like you might have a mentorship program as well you might have a mentor who is basically can um, can give you some suggestions about your career and other stuff so basically what i say that this money is coming from a private private sector so like 
like suppose let's say you are getting funding from Nokia um, and from Nokia they are basically giving you an employee for your mentor so you will be under uh, his or her, her her mentoring programs or her maintaining things for one year and in that one year he might groom you or she might groom you for your upcoming future and uh, on the other sense uh, she or he or your mentor might give you some treat as well it, 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 it is really possible like I know some uh, like friends of mine and some seniors of mine who are basically having this scholarship and their mentors are giving treats uh, and like and the trees are really high in price so yeah so that's that might be possible as well so but it depends on the mentor like like some mentors do groom or some mentors do not groom they they just uh, they just give you the treat and other steps that's it okay so next step like you know the stuff like what is the money and what are the benefits you are you are having so now come to now coming to the process like right? how will you apply so for each and every university, there is a basic deadline and it depends on the university itself. So you have to have a glimpse of your university that what is the deadline for your university for Deutschland Stipendium, okay? And the process might differ as well. Like for TUM Deutschland Stipendium, it's it's a process that might differ from TUM, I mean TU Berlin or TU Dresden. So you have to be, um, uh, you have to be uh, kind of uh, like interested in searching this type of things, in this type of information for your stipendium or stipend or scholarship, whatever you say it. Okay. So, like, what is the process? So, it's, it's very, it's a very, um, it's, it's, it's a very short process. You have to just submit your all documents through online. That's it. And like, like you have to just fill your name and other stuffs. Uh, I will give you the link uh, for TUM and for the central and the central article from the federal government uh, that what is Deutschland's different and other steps in the uh, description link, uh, description uh, box. So you, you have to go there in the description back box and you have to search it by yourself. So like the application process is very simple, very short and very easy. You have to just fill your information and you have to upload your documents like 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 letter of motivation then uh, there should be there there is needed your cv then there is, there is also needed like your vpd that i know you don't i think you know the vpd and other stuffs vpd or your like bsc certificate examination so if you do not know what is vpd and uniasis i will give you a link here you can go there and have a glimpse of it and Proof of extracurricular activities. So yeah, proof of extracurricular activities is very important to enrich your possibilities uh, to having uh, this scholarship in in your bag. And it's, it's it's very important that if you are if you have any proofs like certificates and other stuffs for your extracurricular activities. So what you have to do, you have to just um, a copy and paste it in uh, in a in a, in a word document then you have to just convert it in a pdf and you have to upload it so yeah that's that's the four things you will be needed like documents like letter of motivations your cv your um, extracurricular activities like proof of extracurricular activities and another one is uh, um, is your vpd or your bachelor's certificates okay so basically the competition becomes very high when um, your university is saying that you can apply if you are not getting admitted um, inside that specific university let me clear a bit so like the eligibility criteria for Deutschland stipendium of TUM is number one if you are a student of uh, TUM number two if you are not a student means it, if you are not enrolled but you you get or you got the admission letter in your hand but you were thinking to enroll then you can apply number three you are trying to apply for the uh, university I mean you, you are trying to if you are you are trying to get admitted in that university you just applied and in, in within this time the like application portal is, is open so you are not sure that you are getting chance or not but you can also apply so what will be my suggestion is uh, like you you should 
apply for before getting chance into a university for that scholarship so why it is like it might be possible that you're like after coming to germany like uh, like after what first semester your um grace might not that might not that high now for like getting that scholarship on the other side your bachelor result from bangladesh or your home country is very 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 good that you might get a chance to get this scholarship very easily like why so like they basically count the previous um, educational um, grades that means if you are a student of doom uh, like your first semester grades will be count for your scholarship will be counted as your scholarship proof or scholarship eligibility but if you are not uh, having any education in, in in germany but you are also applying for that scholarship then your like home countries university interest home countries result will be counted for your scholarship eligibility so see so for me what uh, like what was the benefit is I, i i did have like some extracurricular activities and my result in my home country was quite a quite good so that helped me very well to get that scholarship so for me like the result of like my summer 20 uh, 2020 wasn't counted so what was counted was my like bachelor cgp and bachelor grades and bachelor vpd so like my bachelor vpd was one kind um, like 1.4 so yeah it was it, it basically um it 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 increased my possibilities to have that scholarship so till now i have said like who can apply what are the documents needed like um, like uh, from where that you are funding and from where that you are getting the scholarship okay so now thing is like which like which one is the deadline of your scholarship so it it, it basically uh, starts from july 1st every year and it, it stays one month it means from july to august like from july 1 to august 1 you will have your chance to apply for this scholarship okay so but it depends it depends on your uh, university it depends on the authority uh, of your university so yes so that's that's it for deutschland stipendium and i would suggest that please you have you should apply for this before coming to germany because like if you're come if you're planning to come um, come to germany in the winter season then you should you should apply at uh, uh, like on july and you will get that scholarship when you are arriving in, 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 inside germany so it's 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 possible that that you can have this scholarship in your whole two years of journey because like like i know one guy or i know some guys who basically are having this scholarship from the starting of their uh, of their education in germany till the end it means like after one year like you will have to reapply for this scholarship again and if you're like um, if your grades are very very good in your in your university then it is possible that you will have another chance or another one year of scholarship that means that you can have basically like two years of scholarship for this and that 300 euros is it's it's very worthy why because like like within this 300 euros it is really possible that it's it's totally will cover your accommodation rents and it's 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 very good so like you should apply for it and seats are really high and and chances are very high that you might get this scholarship before coming to germany so that's it from today's video hope you will like it and if you like it please do like comment and share and please do subscribe a bit and yeah thank you so much for listening to me thank you so much for supporting me and if you want you can connect with me if you want you can follow me in instagram as well if you want you can also follow me in linkedin and also i have a facebook page please 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 do go to the facebook page and like because i will uh, give you some documents and some suggestions of letter of motivations and documents uh, in a writing thing or in a writing post in my facebook page so you can have a glimpse of it as well so yeah and the next video will be uh, about car rd is one kind of it's 
It's another scholarship which I basically holding and Deutschland Stipendium, uh, it's, it, I got it but I didn't, uh, I say because like in Germany you have, you have, you can have just one scholarship in your bag. So like I got two, then I selected Cardi or Deutschland Stipendium. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a Deutschland Stipendium holder but I, but I got it. So yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, that's it. So that's it from today's video and hope to see you in the next video as well. Till then, bye bye and choose